how to crochet the double crochet stitch you start with a slip knot on your hook chain any number of stitches for this tutorial I'll be chaining 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 you're gonna put your first double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook wrap your yarn insert your hook into the fourth chain pull up a loop pull through two loops and pull through two more loops wrap your yarn insert your hook into the chain pull up a loop pull through two loops and then pull through two more loops wrap your yarn insert your hook into the stitch or the chain pull up a loop pull through two loops pull through two more loops and you're going to continue that all the way to the end Chain three and turn. Remember that this chain three counts as a stitch, counts as a double crochet. So you're going to put your first double crochet in this row into this stitch, not this one. So to do that, you'll wrap your yarn again and insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. Pull through two loops and pull through the remaining two. Wrap your yarn, insert your yarn into the hook, into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, pull through the remaining two. Wrap your yarn, insert your yarn into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, pull through the remaining two. And you're going to do that all the way to the end. And you're going to put your last double crochet into the top of the skip chains. Chain three, turn. Remember that this counts as a double crochet stitch. So you're going to put your next double crochet into this stitch. Wrap your yarn, insert your yarn into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, pull through two more loops. Wrap your yarn, insert your yarn into the hook, pull through two loops, pull through two more loops. All the way to the end. You're going to put your last double crochet into the top of the chain three. Chain three and turn. And you're going to continue this all the way to the end and as far as many rows as you need.